What is good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Carrie. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing when I upload. If you ain't new, welcome back, boo. Let's go ahead and get it popping. See, I already know what today's about. And before we even get started, I'm going to have to give a big shout out to Hairspells for going ahead and sending over this unit for a sister review for us today. So yeah, thanks again. Special shout out. Let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing, the specs, the deets, all of that, the styling, and I'm gonna give you the tea. Let's go. So the hair comes in this cute silk or satin bag. I don't know which one it is that says hair spells, which I think is cute. So when you put your hair back in it, you don't have to worry about the tangles. That was nice. They gave me a little coupon to get some money off of next time. Two headbands so we could switch it up, get our little sleigh on and a little hair clip, which is something they threw in there. So the hair straight out of the pack looks just like this. This is the Brazilian 180 density Italian curly 20 inch headband wig. It comes with the headband attached with the Velcro strap in the back, as you can see. So on the inside, the construction has three cones, one at the top, two on the sides, and one on the bottom. It doesn't have any adjustable straps in this unit. We do have a little stretch with that headband, so that is good for that flexibility, sis. So again, this is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. I didn't wash or anything. I'm gonna get the styling. I'm gonna use my Shears Balm Edge Control, my Edge Brush and Comb, and I'm going to slay these little edges down. If you see anything I'm using in this video as far as the products used to style it, and all of that will be in the description box as well. Of course, you know, I'm going to put the, the, um, the link directly to the hair in the description box too, but everything will be in there down to some of the stuff of my background. So check out that description boxes. And if I end up with a promo code, be sure to look out for that too. And this is the headband that they gave me with it. I think the colors are really, really pretty. Um, it is a cute headband. But I'll switch it out later on to match my outfit a little bit better. And I'm just poofing out the hair a little bit to kind of get a little volume going on. So just finish watching this process, which is not much more. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you my tea. This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream. Just trying to make the most of it. All right, y'all, so you saw the styling process and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and give you a little bit of tea about this unit. So I did take off the headband because I wanted to show you what the wig looks like with just the headband that it comes with. So it is tight, thick, so you could pull it up. You could even put the combs in if you use combs. So just move the wig up if you want to cover the entire hairline. I'm going to move it back because I'm going to end up putting on a different headband on top of it anyway. So what we're working with back there, you get that. This is the band strap with the Velcro. You just it to how you want. I have the comb in right there, which isn't doing much because the hair, the way I have it situated, it just ain't doing much. <laughs> um, so I did notice with this unit, it does just come with the combs and the band strap. It does not have any adjustable straps on the inside. If you wanted to do the adjustable strap situation, you wouldn't be able to do so. If you're somebody who relies on that and just the band, um, and you don't use the combs, then you just be relying on the band because like I said, it doesn't have the adjustable straps. And I know everyone is not a fan of using the combs. So I just want to put that out there really quick. Now, um, something else about this unit, that I just wanted to bring up too. Now, I know this is the Brazilian Italian Curly 20 inch 180 density. I did not wash this unit. Of course, it's to me here, so you can do that if you wanted to, but I didn't. I wanted to just review it straight out of the uh, packaging and all of that to show you guys what it looks like immediately. So this is what we're working with. Of course, you saw me finger comb and all of that stuff. Now, this is a con that I'm about to bring up. Something I'm not really a fan of with this particular unit is, like I said, it says it's 180 density, but I feel like it's a little bit thin. And um, yeah, it may have the appearance of being full, but you did see me finger it and just kind of make it a little bit bigger. But even with that, it just feels a little sparse. Like one hair there, one hair there. I can literally see through the hair and I don't like that. So I do feel like for 180 density it is lacking a little bit so a little bit more hair would have got it just right for me um so now that i did do all of that is looking all poofy if you're somebody who's not a fan of the poofiness you can always get you some foam or you can wash the hair and then it's going to give you that nice defined look all over again so that's always an option as well we just had to put that out there but let me put on my cute little headband because i think this one matched a little more and then we're going to talk about the unit of just a little bit more so now that i got my headband on i think this one matched a little bit more we looking real cute all right so i'm gonna throw a few more cons out there and then i'm going to talk about the pros because it's not all bad y'all it's some good stuff going on with it too so the next thing about this unit is like 
like the way it feels. The texture is not like crunchy or anything, but it does feel a little tad bit dry or uh, hard, should I say. Um, but maybe if I would have washed it and shampooed it, it would have been fine. But straight out of the package, she's not all that soft. But other than that, that's fine. I'm getting like little minor snags and stuff like that, but it's not too crazy. And like the shedding is at a minimal. I have been like really going ham and shooting it with my fingers. So I will expect to um, see a little bit of shedding here and there, but it's not anything crazy, anything to be alarmed of. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wet up my hair really quick and I'm gonna put a little bit of mousse in it. Let me see how it looks as a wet look and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. This is my spray bottle. It's just water and a little bit of peppermint oil for scents. I like, I like the smell like refreshing and stuff. I'm gonna wet it up a bit. And you kind of see the definition coming right back, sis. So that's really pretty. So if you're going for that more defined look, you could definitely accomplish it. Get a little bit on the ends. Maybe this oil, ooh, it's got on my face. My face smelling real messy. Some of this peppermint oil would definitely um, kind of bring a little bit of moisture into it too probably soften it up. So that's pretty. And I had to go get my mousse y'all cause this little wrapping lotion wasn't doing it. It was a little bit left. So this is my got to be volume in volume. Lord, I can't talk. Anyways, I'll put it in the description box. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on it. Okay. Put a little bit on this one. So this is looking real pretty. I'm here for it, honey. All right, this is pretty. I feel like every time I do stuff like this, I miss the middle back part. Right, so this is what we're working with. All right, so this is what she looks like. A little bit moisture, rise with some water, <laughs> a little bit of mousse, get the little wet look. This is really pretty. So let me show you what she looks like, like this. All right, y'all, so now we went ahead and got our little wet look on. Do you see that, sis? Do you see that? This is so cute. I think this one is actually cuter than when I puffed her up and got all that volume popping. Let me know what you like better, the wet look or the big hair, okay? So let me go ahead and start reeling into some pros now. So a pro, of course, is the fact that you can kind of do whatever you want with this unit as far as wearing it as wet look, puffing it out, just kind of having to define after a fresh wash. So you do have some options with that. I also like that it is technically a plop and go. You can put it on your head, run out the door, keep it pushing. Um, and another thing, she's just gorgeous. I think she's like really, really pretty. Like the style of the curls is really pretty, y'all. I am really feeling that wet and wavy vibe right now. Like this is so cute. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much other things to say about this unit as far as good and bad. Overall, other than the things that I said, you could kind of see it for yourself and kind of see like if this is something that you would like to rock or not. I also would like to mention this unit in particular for the specific one that I have, which is the Brazilian Italian Curly 20 inch, 180 density, um, is only running for $98. If I do end up with a promo code to help you guys save some little coiny coin, definitely look in the description box. It'll be right next to the link. So you can go ahead and do that. So I do feel like that is a big pro, especially for it being a human hair unit, because a lot of these human hair headband wigs are starting in the hundreds and kind of going up. So for this to be like a 20 inch and is kind of at 98, which is technically under a hundred dollars. I feel like that's not bad at all. So you kind of get a bang for your buck. So she's a cute little vibe, y'all. She's a cutie. I like her. <laughs> y'all let me know what you think about this unit in the description box below. And once again, shout out to Hair Spells. Thanks for hitting me up and sponsoring this video. I'll see y'all later in the next video. If you ain't subscribed, hit that button now. I'll see ya. I'm hoping for some brighter days Cause I'm falling in the snow, it's getting me deep